What's up, Bama Insider Nation? Trey Entity back for another post spring practice player update. Today, we're going to be talking about the leader of the special teams unit at Alabama, Will Reichert. Before we get into this video, guys, hit the like button for me, subscribe to our channel, and check out the rest of the page for everything Alabama Crimson Tide. Will Reichert is known for a lot of things. His long kicks, charming smile, great personality, but most of all, he may be remembered as the savior of the special teams, really the kicking unit at Alabama. Now, if you guys remember, before Will Reichert got to the university, Andy Papanaustis had a chance to walk off Georgia with a field goal in the 2018 National Championship game. He missed that kick. And the next season, we saw a lot of the same. But then came Will Reichert. Now, I want to zoom out real quick, guys. Take it back even further. Will Reichert has been doing this for a really long time. And we talked about in our video that we released on Will Reichert earlier this year. But if we look into his past, Will Reichert's been doing this since he was about 11 years old. His kicking coach, Brian Jackson, shared on social media a post of Reichert from December of 2012, kicking a 35-yard field goal in 45-degree weather. That was just the beginning. Now, obviously, Reichert went on to play for Hoover High School in Birmingham and was absolutely dominant there. At Hoover, he won two state championships and was a vital part of the team. Reichert hit a 53-yarder with the Bucks and really began to catch some eyes around the country, especially Alabama, a program that was in desperate need of a consistent kicker. I mean, that's what everybody was talking about. This team has everything. Unbelievable defense, really dynamic offense that is changing, but no kicker. Nobody that they could call on to hit even the extra points consistently at times. Will Reichert came in and took this program by storm. Now I want to really focus on the 2020 season. As you guys remember, Will Reichert was a Lou Graza finalist this past year. He didn't miss a single kick. Hitting a 56-yarder against the Bulldogs in a crucial game, probably the most important kick of his season, but around that he was perfect. He didn't miss a single extra point in 84 attempts, and in 14 field goal tries, he was perfect. He kicked off the football 69 times for 3,614 yards, averaging 52 yards a kick with 14 touchbacks. He was a special teams player of the week against Texas A&M, Georgia, Tennessee, Mississippi State, and LSU, and probably deserved it even more times if you think about it. The dude was exceptional. He was a Lou Graza finalist. Did he win the award? No. We're not going to say it was controversial because this is a weird award. I mean, it's kicking. It's looked at a bit different than the rest of the positions on the field. But Will Reichert didn't miss a single kick. One could argue maybe Bama fatigue. That's a discussion we had many times back in the fall. And one that we'll leave there, Will Reichert doesn't have to prove it to anybody. This kid is elite at kicking. Certainly a candidate for the Lou Graza again this year. What does 2021 have in store for Will Reichert? Now measuring up at 6'1", 190 pounds, listed as a junior, still has three years of eligibility left, guys, keeping in mind that blanket rule from this past season. But as you remember, a, a bit of a struggle there in the 8A game this season. In that game, we saw Will Reichert attempt five field goals, and he missed three of them. This game is a shocker to the entire fan base, but guys, it is nothing to worry about. It was the Golden Flake 8A game. A game that you learn a lot about certain guys in, but a game that we really didn't have to learn a lot about Will Reichert. He proved himself last year. We know how exceptional he can be not just in regular situations, look to that national championship game, look to the playoff game, the Florida game, the Georgia game, any big game, he showed up and made big kicks. Now I want to break down this 8A game a little bit further. His first field goal was 22 yards out. It was good. His last field goal was 19 yards out. It was good. The three in the middle is where he slipped up. The second one was in the first quarter. It was a 52 yarder. That's deep guys. In a game that is coming off of spring practice, it, it has a bit of a different feel there. He missed the 52-yarder. His next one was a 48-yarder, still very deep. The third one, though, is the one that makes you scratch your head a little bit, a 33-yard field goal that he missed. At the end of the day, I think you draw this up to it being the spring game, not being real game action. The sequences were a little bit off, and he's not playing with, with the full special teams unit he will play with in the regular season. Regardless, you didn't see him miss a chip shot. We still haven't seen him miss an extra point and really show any signs of not being capable. Even on those missed kicks, you saw him put a good leg into it and just miss wide. Will Reichert is a fun player to watch and a fun player to get behind. The fan base has truly embraced Reichert, and for good reason. He has been the answer to a problem that Alabama fans could not find the answer to 
for several seasons in a row. You remember back to this past football season, managing editor Kyle Henderson and I sat down every single game and the further we got into it, the more we became believers. But for a while it was like, is this even real? When's he gonna miss it? I mean, we're just waiting on that extra point to hit the crossbar. It didn't, and I think we expect the same in 2021. Well, Riker could have blown up, could have gotten very upset that he didn't win the Lou Grazo Award. The winner did miss a kick. He didn't. But his reaction was very mature, and I think that's the kind of kicker we're going to see out of Will Riker this season, moving forward and into an NFL career that will last quite some time, if I had to guess, at this point. Will Riker's another one of these players that is guaranteed a starting job, and will have it throughout the entire season, barring anything crazy happening. And I know Alabama fans feel very comfortable that that is the case. For more information on Will Riker, the rest of the special teams unit, and all things Alabama Crimson Tide, head to our YouTube page and go to BamaInsider.com to check out articles from staff writer Tony Sukalis and our recruiting expert Andrew Bone. Will Riker is looking to dominate yet again in 2021 and will likely be the front runner for the Lou Graza Award. For BamaInsider.com, my name is Trey Yanity. This has been a post-spring player update on kicker Will Riker.